Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I am here to do the past, present, and future reading for the sign of Cancer. You're the last of my water signs for today. So all the other water signs have been posted, including air and fire. I think I posted them yesterday. So water signs are being posted today and earth signs will be next. Thank you so much if you're one of my watchers, viewers, or returning subscribers. Thank you if you're one of my newbies. I appreciate you being here with me. I wish all of you blessings and infinite joy and abundance. This is my channel and welcome. So I am a life coach and a tarot card reader. And if you would like a life coaching session or tarot card reading, please read the description box below. If you are inclined and you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Sometimes I forget to say that, but um, it is what it is. It be what it be. <laughs> um... In this reading for today, July 21st, 2020, there will be three cards, past, present, and future, of course, and I'm not going to read the bottom. There is not a theme, which is weird. I usually have a theme or I usually read the bottom as the overall message, but I am doing a different spread. This is my Oceanic Tarot deck, the one I'm touching now. It's by Jane Wallace. She has incredible spreads in her book that comes with this deck. This is my baby. I use this deck a lot. I do a lot of personal readings with this deck. Okay, in other decks, of course, but this is my baby, okay? I'm very I'm very connected to all of my decks, and it's, it, this one especially. Okay, so with that being said, don't get hung up on signs. I don't do reversals. I do notice them. Don't get hung up on, like, male and female genders, or if I say woman or man. In tarot, it's all about energy, so take the reading how it resonates for you. And just know that we welcome everybody. We invite everybody. If something doesn't resonate, don't force it. There's incredible other readings and other readers. So you will find what resonates for you. And I'm working on various cool spreads that I hope you enjoy. So look forward to that. And like in the coming of weeks, probably next week, there'll be a new spread. And I'm just really experimenting with some different things. So I hope you enjoy them. And yeah, let's go. I'm doing the sign of cancer. So let's go cancers. My spread, my um, cards have been preyed upon. And meditative on, okay, for today, July 21st, 2020. The sign of cancer, past, present, future. So if you're dealing with a scenario or you have a question, focus on it. And this will be, you know, in regards to that, okay? I will show you the cards. I will read them first, get the energy from it, and let you know what I'm seeing. Okay, let's start. Past. Woo! Ace of Swords. This just came out for... Pisces, but in a different placement. Present. Knight of Swords. This just came out for Pisces. So you may want to go back and watch the Pisces reading that I'm posting. Actually, it's re it's uploading as we speak. Future for you Cancers. Okay. Outcome. Eight of Wands. Interesting. It's like reverse energy here. This is reverse. And I shuffled. I prayed upon my text. When spirit has me inclined to stop, I stop shuffling. And that's when I will, you know, cut the deck in front of you. So this is interesting. You may want to actually, you may be connected to a Pisces cancer or go back and look at the Pisces reading if you're inclined because it's pretty similar except these two cards, the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords are switch. Very interesting energy. Okay, this is strong. Ace of Swords. So in the past, you were victorious. You did something really well. You made some very intelligent decisions and they paid off, Okay. This was about you standing in your power or taking your power back. So you had to say something that needed to be said. I feel like you communicated something or it could be that somebody had to say something to you and it was strong. It was memorable. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like whatever was said needed to be said. It was so necessary. It was a part of your growth and learning. And with that, in your present, you've learned to cut off who does not serve your highest good. People who brought you down or brought drama into the family, into your friendships, your romantic relationships, at work, whatever the situation was, you were over it. And you realize you're fighting a losing battle because it's not your fight. You realize this is not something I should be arguing about. This is not something that should be a disagreement. I shouldn't be arguing with this person because this is not my battle. It's not my fight. And you learn to say what you need to say and step out of it and step away from it. Good job. You did the right thing, Cancer. Because you're right, it wasn't your fault, it wasn't your fight, it wasn't your situation. So you learn to leave the nonsense alone and focus on your own progress and success. Great job. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. You cut off what you didn't need, who you didn't need, 
Anybody who was on a negative tip, you were like over it, done, and finito, finished. So good for you. That was the right thing to do. And you also learn to just say what you mean and mean what you say. You learn to communicate very clear through your spoken words, through your written words, text, emails, social media, whatever have you. You learn to say what needed to be said and you learn to do it to the point, okay? No waiting around. In your future, whatever situation that you're dealing with that this relates to, I'm seeing the eight of wands. So you're about to get a lot more opportunities because you release what did not serve you, what was not good for you. You let it go. Guess what? God is blessing you with some amazing new opportunities. You're going to get some business ventures. You're going to get some jobs and offers. They look amazing and incredible. Please weigh everything carefully. Organize it very carefully so that you can sift through things and put it in piles so that you know what you really want. Get rid of what you don't. And just know this communication is coming in very fast. So definitely double check emails. Don't skip over any text. Anything that might look odd or weird, look at it anyways. That's what I'm saying. Because it could be the opportunity you've been waiting for. Like an a, opportunity of a lifetime possibly. I'm seeing some amazing things here. This is moving on and moving forward. Getting a lot of communication. So expect the calls and the emails. Expect some wonderful things coming in, Cancer. Because it looks amazing. And as far as travel, you are on the move to somewhere. So I'm seeing, I'm even hearing astral travel, but I'm also seeing like ships. So somebody is going by water or somebody is um, going to get a job offer where they have to move or they have to travel by water to get where they're going or they live by water, they work by water or something like that. But I'm seeing some major movements here with this travel card and communications heavy. So you're moving on, you're moving forward, you're focused on your coins and your abundance. I don't blame you. Go for it. That looks amazing. Enjoy all the opportunities that come your way, Cancer. This has been your reading, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I wish you blessings and infinite abundance and happiness and joy for the moment, for the rest of the week, the rest of the day in your life, and just do what feels best for you, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.